Okay, it's the next morning and we're here at the cold and frosty gasifier. Nice layer of ice on everything. It's, again, it's about 20 degrees out here. Um, it's It hasn't been 24 hours, but I'm pretty confident that this has uh, entirely stopped burning. See the uh, nice charcoal there? Um, it appears that the middle of the uh, pile is more charred than the rest. On the outside, um, looks like we've still got some just black wood on the outside of the circle, but in the center there it really is charcoal. So I'm going to dig some of it out now, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like once I've got some dug out. Sorry, I don't have a cameraman today, so I'll try to make sure you can see what I'm doing. Um, I am in the process of sorting through the charcoal. I'm just pulling out random pieces. Uh, you can see that's probably pretty good. My test is just to break it. If it breaks effortlessly, that's good charcoal. Good charcoal like that. Just breaks right up. If I grab a different kind of piece, oh, that looks like it's not really charcoal. It is black, but I don't think it's charcoal. And we can test uh, by trying to break it. Uh, and there won't be anything to come off of there. So that is what we call a brand or just wood that did not turn into charcoal. So I'll get a couple more pieces here. These look pretty similar. I think they're both brands. Mm, yep. So at this point, I've gotten significantly more brands than actual charcoal. I'll show you in a minute. See there, a little bit of it was charred and that's kind of fallen off into the charcoal, but most of that is just a brand. Um, I think I'm coming to the conclusion that I didn't let this run long enough. Um, either that or just the shape of the hopper is not ideal for making charcoal. Okay, another brand. Okay, that one was about half brand and half uh, charcoal, so I broke off the charcoal bits and put that in the good pile. Okay, so I'll just show you what this looks like. Um, that's the uh, charcoal that I've gotten so far. It's good charcoal. It's fine. Um, there's the brands that I've gotten so far. This is about that much. Now some of that is charred, but it's just not good charcoal yet. So I'm going to continue sorting and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so um, I've got the hopper mostly unloaded. I don't know if you can see down there, that is pretty much to the level of the nozzles. Um, I will continue to unload that. Slightly more charcoal now than uh, than brands. I pretty much got all the brands out. They were all in the hopper at this point. I'm mostly just digging out charcoal, so I thought I'd show you what it looked like. Um, that's a good charcoal. I've uh, tested each one by breaking it uh, to see if it was hard to break. All this is super easy to break. I'll show you. Just breaks, you know, with just a couple of fingers, you know. That one looks like it's a little harder to break, and it may be not quite as good quality charcoal, but it's still good. In fact, I may just throw this one in the brand's bucket. But this one, you can kind of tell by looking at them, but see, I still, I broke that in half with just my fingers, so no problem there. This is all good charcoal. Some of this is probably good coal too, but um, it doesn't hurt to have brands because you can just throw them back in. Um, that's a five, well, that's maybe a three and a half gallon bucket full of, uh, brands. I don't know exactly how much this pan is. It's probably less than the brand, so about half and half at this point. So I know you charcoal guys are probably laughing, saying that's pathetic. Um, but hey, you know, this was my first, uh, first successful, semi-successful shot at doing this. Um, I just needed some char, so I got that. I will be continuing to experiment to try to get the yield up. I knew I cut it off early, and that may have uh, that there may have been a way to get that stuff to uh, finish off as well. I'm not done unloading. Like I said, there's still most of that down there is uh, good charcoal. And here is the final result. We got one full bucket of brands. 
two buckets of charcoal plus this out of the uh, ash pan there's a little bit of ashes in the bottom of this if you can see that or not but uh, that and all that and that completely emptied the gasifier so given that I think we basically took our five bags of wood reduced it to three bucketfuls of wood which I think converts into two bags of wood um, so a little less than half left over um, but plenty of charcoal we could fill this up and run it down the road we've got some left over um, we've got some brands that would be uh, able to run through next time and uh, so overall I would say this was a success um, thanks for watching and keep driving on wood